from Early Literacy Matters, bringing you another storybook. Today we're talking about pets, and I want to read to you My Amazing Pet Snail. Pet Snail? Look at this front of my book. Can you see by the picture what's happening in the story? There's a snail, and what is he riding on? On a skateboard. I've never seen a snail riding a skateboard. Let's see what he does in our story. All right, are you ready? My amazing pet snail. Let's see what he does. Billy's dad and Billy's mom thought magic was a lot of fun. You might think Bill would like it too, but quite the opposite was true. Dad's flying tricks did not go well. Mom's potions made a nasty smell. While they liked magic quite a lot, Billy certainly did not. Bill peered at all their strange supplies, jelly bugs and pickled flies, bubbling potions, lizard scales. And what was this? A little snail. Oh, Mom, please, no, don't tell me he is for a magic recipe. To do that would be so unkind. I have a better plan in mind. Instead, why don't you say you'll let me keep the snail as my new pet? Bill gave him Nigel as a name. He taught him how to play a new game. Said dad to mom, just give him time. He'll soon get bored of all that slime. These spells will help us show our boy some other pets he could enjoy. We know you're fond of your pet snail, but have you thought about a whale? <laughs> if not a whale, now let me see, perhaps a giant dancing bee? This elephant does tricks, you know, unlike your snail who's rather slow. This tiger here could be your guy, while Nigel is a little shy. Whoa! I'm sorry, but they'll have to go. Oh, mom and dad, why can't you see? It's Nigel who's the pet for me. But what Bill said, he said too late, and Nigel didn't hear his mate. As Billy turned to see his snail, he saw instead a slimy trail. It read, I think it's for the best. I'm not as fun as all the rest. I hope you find the perfect pet, and I'm so happy that we met. I'm sorry that I had to, it had to end. Lots of love from your old friend. And there's the trail. Where do you suppose he's going? Hmm. Nigel! As Billy shouted Nigel's name, Dad's magic spells went wrong again. Things got crazy, things went bad. The tiger tried to eat Bill's dad. While Mommy was being tickled silly, the bee flew up and stung poor Billy. As Nigel reached the elevator, he heard Bill's cry and as a skater, he pulled the skateboard from its case and whizzed along at lightning pace. He catapulted through the door and slid across the hallway floor. But no one noticed Nigel's small or saw his sloopy slip, super slimy trail. The tiger slipped onto his back and knocked mom's potions off the rack. And suddenly a puff of smoke made everybody cough and choke. But as the smoke began to clear, those crazy beasts had disappeared. Well, mom and dad were pleased as punch and made that snail a hero's lunch. 
Mom gently patted Nigel's shell and said, this nail beats any spell. And now with magic, we are through. We'll soon find something else to do. You see, at last we know it's true. A friendship can be magic too. There's Billy on a skateboard. There's his mom on a skateboard. That's his dad. That's his mom. That's Billy. And there's Nigel. See him little bitty way up there. That's the story, my amazing pet snail.